When is a song fully original and when is it not? Music has a layered history, so you might not know that a song you love is sampling from a song in the past. Some are obvious, some aren't, but we've got you covered by breaking it down every episode. This is Sample School. For the final episode of this season, we'll be taking a look at Famous by Kanye West. Some people view him as an egomaniac, while others think he's a musical genius. Regardless of what you think of Chicago Ray's Kanye West, his influence on music culture and the art of sampling has been undeniable over the past two decades. During the 1990s, Kanye started his music career off as a producer, working his way up with hip-hop artists who gravitated towards his beats, which were often highlighted by high-pitched soul samples. In 2001, he finally got his big break for his work on Jay-Z's critically acclaimed album, The Blueprint. Kanye's true aspiration was to be a rapper, and catapulting off his success with Jay-Z, he released his solo album College Dropout, legitimizing his dream. Kanye's craft in rapping and production has evolved throughout his seven solo albums, and he has become one of the most decorated artists of all time with a whopping 21 Grammy Awards. Kanye released Famous off his seventh solo album, The Life of Pablo, which peaked at number 34 on the Billboard Hot 100. However, the song's notoriety went beyond its chart standing, and more so on its content with the track and its music video. As for the song itself, its instrumental is quite layered, as it includes three beat changes during Kanye's lines, Rihanna's hook, and another near the end of the song. Another song, another sample surgery. To start things off, let's play a little of Famous. For all the girls that get from Kanye West, if you see him in the streets, give him Kanye's best. Why? They mad they ain't famous. All right, what would it sound like without the drums in Kanye and if the organ's pitch was slowed down? I'd be Puerto Rican day parade flow in that Benz Marina Del Rey Knowing how deep Kanye digs in his sample collection, this one might be tough to figure out. But we got you. Time to listen to a track made back in 1973. As you can hear, Kanye's song pulled its sample completely from the other side of the music spectrum with the 1973 song Mi Sono Sveiato e Ho by Italian progressive rock band Il Rovescio della Medaglia. For all the Italian speakers out there, I did the best I could. We're not done just yet though. Let's also take a peek at the hook from Famous, sung by Rihanna. I've loved you better than your own candy from the very uh, now listen to the vocals in this song from 1968. Man, I can understand how it might be kind of hard to love a girl like me. Samples aren't just limited to repurposing the instrumental. Rihanna's hook samples the vocal track to Nina Simone's song Do What You Gotta Do. But there's even more. Let's skip to the end of Famous and listen to this part. Now this sounds familiar, and it's from a song I love from 1982. This final sample is from reggae artist, Sister Nancy, called Bomb Bomb, which also gives us a sample surgery first, with three samples to cover from a song. All right, let's learn a little bit about each of these sampled artists. First up, Italian progressive rock band Il Rovescio della Medaglia, or RDM, formed in 1970 and focused on high-concept albums, starting with the religious album, La Bibbia, in 1971, which was recorded live. The track Mi Sono Sveiato e Occhioso Li Occhi, which was also called Another Name Am I in its US release, was featured on RDM's third and arguably most well-received album, Contamination, released in 1975. The second sample is by Nina Simone, one of the most popular and most sampled musical acts of the 20th century. She had a wide range of genres, from jazz to blues to folk and pop music, and recorded over 40 albums, garnering her a Hall of Fame award at the Grammys in 2000. Do What You Gotta Do is one of the few studio recorded songs off her live album, Nuff Set, released in 1968. A B-side track off the album, it was written by famed songwriter Jimmy Webb, who also wrote songs for Johnny Cash, Billy Joel, and Frank Sinatra. 
The third sample comes from Sister Nancy, who was revered by many to be the first female dancehall DJ starting her career in the 1980s. The release of the track Bomb Bomb from her debut album didn't instantly get her worldwide popularity. In fact, she didn't even realize it was a bigger hit in the US than it was in Jamaica until she moved to the States in 1996, nearly 14 years after its release. So were these songs sampled in any other songs? Well, unlike RDM's track, which really hasn't been sampled outside of Famous, Do What You Gotta Do has been repurposed in songs by Keith Murray, do what you hey, yo, gotta do. This is a true story for all my hustlers, man. While the success of Bomb Bomb in the U.S. has been attributed to its usage in tracks by artists like Too Short, right about now, in the place to be, Too Short, baby, getting real funky with the motherfucking dangerous crew, and Chris Brown. What did the artists think of Kanye sampling their songs? RDM has made no comment on it. Sister Nancy seemingly hasn't even listened to the track yet, though the correct paperwork was put through for the sample and she was notified of it from a text her daughter sent her. And Nina Simone unfortunately passed away at the age of 70 in 2003. As for their careers now, RDM eventually broke up in 1973, but has occasionally regrouped with different artists and still performs to this day. And Sister Nancy now works as an accountant for a bank in New Jersey. However, she occasionally performs and has offered artists who want to sample her music to contact her so she can perform the songs for them live. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our first season, but we will return. Hope you learned something new today and consider yourself sample schooled. Thanks for watching the final episode of the first season of Sample School. It's been an epic six episodes, and we can't thank you enough for all the support. Keep sending your suggestions for more songs in the comments below, because the show will no doubt return. I'm Alex Wexler, and from all of us here, we can't wait to continue uncovering these stories behind these samples for you guys. So stay tuned, and see you in season two.